Hello and welcome to Seasonal Job Pro. On this channel, we try to cover anything and everything that may help you succeed in the seasonal job industry. Today, we're talking about dog mushing jobs. So strap in and let's get to work. According to some sources, dogs have been on the payroll for humans since 2000 BC. While many dogs do still work for humans in many very important ways, most dogs have moved from being a working employee to, well, something else. While cats, on the other hand, decided long ago that they really didn't want to have any part of that. Relying on cuteness and catching the occasional moth to get them through history. And it seems to be working out for them. Sleeping in sunbeams and hiding in various places about the house, going out of their way to try and trip me. They are perfectly content with that. Mush dogs, on the other hand, are like wound-up balls of furry steampunk engines ready to spring into action as soon as they get the word to go. Never really following the path of some of their other canine cousins that adapted to a life in the lap of luxury, or just a life in any lap. So what are mush dogs? Mush dogs are usually huskies or malamutes or one of a few other species that look like they never evolved too far from the wolves that are the origin of the canine family. And they are working dogs. Think of them as hardworking athletes of cold weather dogs. To this day, some communities still rely on the efforts of mush dogs to help survive in cold weather conditions, as much as some communities still rely on the strength and effort of horses or oxen. But the most famous of mush dogs are those that race in the Super Bowl of dog races, the Iditarod. And by dog race, I don't mean the sad and controversial racing that is usually sleek greyhounds running in a circle after a fake rabbit, kind of like a smaller version of horse racing, which in itself brings up its own questions of ethics that is not the purpose of this video. If you want to learn more about the life of mush dogs, definitely go ahead and do some research. One source I would only half-heartedly recommend is called the Internet. Start with a website called Go Ogle. I don't think I'm pronouncing it right. Then what is the purpose of this video? Seasonal jobs. That's what we do here. And there are, in the seasonal job industry, jobs working with mush dogs. And that's what we're talking about. So... Now, let's get to work. Now that we know what mush dogs are, what's going on with these mush dogs? Well, if you think of it like a mush dog's actual full time job is on a similar schedule to a school teacher, then they too take on summer jobs to fill the off season months. In fact, they just might be the seasonal job pros of the canine world. And what do they do for the season? Well, they run. And run. And run. Like athletes in training, they just get at it. And to pay the bills, adventurous tourists will come and help them train. By help, I mean they will usually sit in a sled and get pulled around for a bit while the dogs are let loose. They also get to meet all the dogs and learn all about them and the industry as a whole. While some companies operate in places that don't have snow in the summer, which means all the work and running is done on trails with carts that have wheels, a few companies will operate on glaciers where there is still snow and ice year-round. For now. This means that anything that needs to get up to the glacier, like people, supplies, dog food, anything, sometimes all goes by helicopter, which I think is pretty cool. With so much going on in these operations, staff is needed to get it all done. And since the dogs need a lot of space to run, some of these jobs are in relatively remote places. 
So what are these jobs already? Depending on the company, the title could be musher, sled dog handler, guide, or kennel hand, or a couple of others. And what do they do? Well, mushers are typically the actual tour guides that are taking the guests out on sleds. So aside from ensuring safety of all the guests and dogs on tour, they answer questions and give information. They probably take pictures and try to deliver an overall positive experience. On top of that, they will also be expected to do the same stuff as handlers or kennel hands, which includes taking care of the dogs, feeding, scooping up poop, ensuring the dogs are in good health, sled maintenance, keeping the camp and kennels clean, and various other camp duties depending on the actual location. Oftentimes, mushers and hands uh, will live in places that are quite remote. Remember, some of these camps are on top of glaciers. And you may only have one day off a week to go into the nearest town to get a dose of civilization. Life at camp means you'll probably live in a canvas-walled tent or maybe a dry cabin. Uh, dry cabin means that there is no running water. So, like the tent, sinks, showers, and bathrooms will be a short walk away. Fortunately, this housing is free, and so are meals. And if an employer says they have to charge you to camp at your work location, maybe reconsider working with that company. And tell me about them in the comments below. Pay for working as a musher or handler should typically be pretty good. One company advertises at about $17 an hour for handlers and from $19 to $23 an hour for mushers. While most others tend to be in the range of three thousand to forty five hundred a month, plus tips and room and board, and due to the remote nature of the job, it should be a pretty decent gig for saving. The bulk of these seasonal jobs tend to be in Alaska, uh, but some are peppered around the lower forty eight, most often in states close to the Canadian border, like Minnesota requirements. You will need to be able to lift some weight. Dog food tends to come in 50-pound bags, and five-gallon buckets of water weigh around 40 pounds. And to do these jobs, you will need to get very familiar with both. Uh, also, sled dogs bark a lot. It's kind of their thing. They are very excited about everything that's happening everywhere. So if you can't handle the sound of barking dogs, this may not be the gig for you. Oh yeah, and you need to really, really, really like dogs. If someone were to ask you, hey, are you more of a dog person or a cat person? And your answer is, well, I'm actually more into keeping birds in cages. Then this job is definitely not for you. And you're a monster. And again, due to the nature of the job, you will probably need to be pretty comfortable with remote living, as well as helicopters. Mushers and handlers aren't the only gigs at mush camps, though. Some of the bigger operators may even keep camp cooks on staff at the camps to keep the rest of the crew fed. So if you like the idea of living in a beautiful remote place surrounded by more dogs than people, that might just be the seasonal job for you. Be sure you can cook, though. If you're a terrible cook, you may not make a whole lot of friends. The season usually starts around mid-May and probably runs till about mid-September. And if you love dogs, this could be the perfect seasonal job for you. So that's just a quick introduction into mush dog jobs. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button, and subscribe for more great videos about seasonal jobs. And if you have ever worked as a musher or any other job around sled dogs, leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear about your experiences as a seasonal job pro. Thanks for watching.